You know what, I think Alcala is probably one of my most um, vivid memories, just because it was my very, it was my greeny area. It was my first area. Um, and I think the thing that I remember there, like I mentioned, was the members. The members there are incredibly strong. They have their own chapel, um, which was actually, which was kind of rare for Spain. They had their own chapel, um, and they were so welcoming to the missionaries. A lot of them um, worked for the church. They worked at the MTC. Um, and so the, the members there, I think, is probably what I remember about Alcala, is that the, the members there were just so incredibly strong. Yeah, it's a suburb of Madrid. It's known for it. It has a, one of the oldest universities in Europe there, um, which is where a lot of BYU students will go and do a study of broad is in, is in Alcala. Um, but I remember like Alcala has the old cobblestone paved roads. Um, at the university, they have the bell that rings at every hour and they have big, the big storks that have built nests on top of the university and it's just you just feel like you're walking back in history um, and I remember doing that as a missionary walking down the streets thinking this this street and this building is older than my whole country and it was surreal it was it was just an awesome experience most of the transportation in Alcala was just by bus or walking um, you know in Spain we don't have bikes so everywhere is bus or by feet and so a lot of the times we would walk we would walk and walk and walk we'd walk you know i would guess anywhere between five and ten miles a day i remember when i first got to spain um i at the time i wasn't a huge soccer fan and i remember on saturdays we would go and play soccer with some of the youth in the ward and i remember i i considered myself an athletic person i played basketball in high school and you know, I, I, I could keep my feet under me, but in Spain, I would have a little 10 year old boy that would just come and run circles around me with a soccer ball. And it was, it was so frustrating for me because I, I thought I'm athletic and how are these little 10 year old boys running circles around me? But soccer is religion in Spain. I mean, they love, love, love soccer. If there was a big soccer game going on, you couldn't go and knock doors. You couldn't talk to people. Everybody was in a bar. Um, I think this is a reflection of the people of Spain, but if you knocked on a door during a big soccer game, um, they would tell you, one, no, we're not interested, but would you like to come in and watch the soccer game with us? Uh, and I remember thinking that the people were so incredibly hospitable. They're a little bit closed to the religion, but they would, they would let you in their home as a complete stranger to watch a soccer game with them. So.